but I know we fish a man But I'm to catch this fish up Me I'm to drop this fish up Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel This is a reaction video Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I were here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. Quick reminder: if you love me, I love you back. I love you with the word. I love you back to back. Mm -mm. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where are we? Of course, we are very much around London. We are still in UK. Another leg is in Yabohanse. There is tsunami. Eh? The Jericho wall has fallen. What is going on? Why is our mom apologizing? God, forgive me if I have wronged anybody. Who did you wrong? We didn't hear anything like this. We didn't know who Congress mom wronged that made her now to be confessing, asking for forgiveness. What is going on in the upper hands? We don't know. It's called sand harvesting karma. Come on, Mama. Coco Mama, have you brought your people? Coco Mama, stop it. Have you brought your people here? Huh? Who do we have here? Of course, Coco Mama of the Most High is here. The Kengas, Congress Mom, Shana Arawa, <laughs> shedding tears. You, you, in fact, uh, Shana, Shana, on a more serious note, get out of here. Get out of here, because I don't understand. Trust Jamaicans, guys. <laughs> Jamaicans are too, but some Jamaican fans of us were like, you know what? We're gonna speak on your behalf. You and our Madame D supposed to have Jamaican citizenship. We're gonna speak on your behalf. Because the drama is too much. What is going on? Your baby needs your attention and you are crying. Is it your small baby or your big baby? Stop it. On a more serious note, you need to stop it. Prorororo is on this table. Of course, Mrs. Maya still made it to the table. Maya, in fact, all Ghanaians are here. We are a third leg. Another leg is in Ghana. We are everywhere and everywhere this morning. I will be dropping it up, down, left and right, back and forth. Just leave me alone. It will be coming from every direction. You guys, have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbing my cover for what I hear. Hey, guys, I thought I have seen it all. Yesterday, I said, ha, Mrs. Maya, she started it. Like, if you didn't give it to us, why would we come here and be running our mouth? You have to drop it. We will collect it like this. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> hey, Coco Baba, behave yourself because I don't understand this one. Got no time to waste time here. Mrs. Maya, number one, carried excess luggage, blaming the airline. When you have excess luggage, you know your luggage allowance, baggage allowance, or whatever. If you are allowed to carry 23 kg, you respect yourself. Especially those people coming from Yankee, you are not expected to be carrying ogiri, dry meat, dry fish, and be roaming around. Mm -mm. Immigration, actually, most of the times, they don't allow people to bring food because of of course, food poisoning and all what now, all what now, you understand? Again, it depends on the country. Mm. But that side, that Oibo side, their own is too much. You have to get your food cargoed or DHL or whatever. But to come and be carrying SS luggage like this, they don't wanna. You understand? You go to Rome, you behave like the Romans. What am I not telling you guys this morning? She was denied entry because of SS luggage. Someone during the premiere yesterday was asking, didn't she have enough money to pay for her SS bag? At least she should be aware. She has, it's not today. I mean, we are talking about Mrs. Maya here. Okay? The African icon's wife. That's who we are talking about. They've been traveling for decades. I'm not even going to play. They've been traveling. They ought to know better. They are not JJC. They are not Johnny just come. They know. Mrs. Maya ought to know if she's SS and put out some money. And of course, drop some dollars here. In that hundred dollar dependent. Yakata always will take like a bag, hundred dollar. That's a chicken change for caliber of Mrs. Maya. Huh? Stinginess is not nice. Mrs. I, I told you guys that Maya is more generous than Mrs. Maya. You thought I'm joking. You, you missed your flight because of SS bag. Okay, that one is not enough. Again, you are coming to cry that 
they thought that your marriage is fake. Now, someone during the premiere yesterday was like, Coco Mama, you ought to know better. Mrs. Maya has been traveling without any document. It takes time. So are you guys telling me that if someone is married to a Ghanaian, this person is not expected to have a document from the government, at least? Eh? Now, let's read it out. I always tell you guys this thing here. Drop, if you're a Ghanaian, quote me wrong very correctly. People that are here, that I know enough to know people that know. I don't know, but I know enough. You understand? To know the people that know more than enough. You understand what I mean? <laughs> Again, so I'm going to be doing my third Ghana card. Look at it. I have it here as non-citizens identity card. This is my Ghana card as a foreigner here in Ghana. So in one of my recent videos, I was asked how I went about getting my Ghana card. The first time I got my Ghana card, how I got it, it was entirely different from how I got it the second time. Yes, I'm doing this video now because somebody asked for it. So there's practically nothing you can do today in Ghana without your Ghana card. Yes, everything you need your Ghana card. If I had to get your SIM right now, if you're coming into Ghana and you need to get a SIM card, you need your Ghana card to do that. Virtually everything right now, you need your Ghana card. Now, if you're coming in as a foreigner like myself, yes, I'm a Nigerian who lives in Ghana because of work. Yes, I've said this a lot of times why I'm currently living in Ghana. So when I came into Ghana, I've talked about doing my permit. After my permit was my Ghana card. In fact, I think you can't even do a permit without your Ghana card right now. They will ask for your Ghana card. So how did I go about getting this the second time? The very first time I did my Ghana card, I paid $120 to get this done. Yes, $120. And as when I was getting this done, the dollar rates to CDs or CDs, dollar to CDs was about 5.96 CDs. I remember doing it at 720 CDs back then, like the very first time I did it. And I'm talking about 2021. By 2022, that's last year, June, July. I think I got it done in July, yes, seven, because he has written seven, yes, zero seven. I got it done in July and renewal is actually $60. Yes, I don't know why they actually quote these things in dollars. Then you pay for the rates in CDs. So get it, getting my Ghana card last year, I think I paid about 660, 660 CDs or so. I'm going, yes, I paid 660 CDs to get it done last year. So this year, I don't know if they might have increased it. But I'm going to update you when I get it done. So how do you go about getting your Ghana card in Ghana? As a foreigner, yes, it's very much compulsory for you, just like I said, because getting your SIM card, your um, residence permit, everything evolves around your Ghana card. You need it. I was able to get connections with people that I work in the immigration office. So I can get my own as fast as two to five days or two to seven days there about but for some people it takes almost two weeks it takes almost a, a more than a week or so for them to get their passport so all i did was just to present them my international passport when i got to the when i got to the immigration Ghana immigration service office i went straight to where i was expected to get i think i paid some amount of money for it was a fresh a fresh um resident permit so i think i paid around 120 dollars to get it yes 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 i paid 120 dollars at that time to get my resident permit and i had to you know i told, i submitted my admission letter i submitted some other things i wish i can't really really tell right now i submitted my admission letter i submitted my um um, international passport which is where they're going to stamp it right now my international passport is somewhere I took it for a renewal I can't really show you what it looks like but resident permits I would have shown you what it really looks like on uh, your international passport yes initially Ghanaians were using stamp but now they use this kind of sticker like a UK if you are traveling abroad that kind of American kind of thing now they do it you paste it on a particular page of the paper so yes like i said i presented my international passport and then my admission letter what other information do you ask me of? and then the money so people i don't know if they're required i don't know the policy now but i don't know if you're required to go and pay in the bank or anything but i know i paid through the counter a table counter something they give me gave me a form to fill what what's the benefit of this thing the benefit of resident permit is that 
whenever you are traveling it, is, it shows that you have been given the full permission to stay in that in ghana for at least one year it's renewable you understand it's renewable. you can you always renew it every year and when you're going to renew it's like 60 dollars so how can you tell me that it takes three years for you to get a legal document the following i'm gonna put it out here correct me that mrs maya has been traveling for years to ghana without any paper because she's been traveling from her home country you guys should be getting these things now eh? when you're saying this, this girl traveled from yankee she's not a resident in yankee she was even driving tesla without driving license then <laughs> a lot of questioning almost naked you guys are not talking about that one you're only coming to fight that she's supposed to travel with her marriage certificate and Qatar Airways did not allow her. Huh? They got to do what they got to do. Even if she has been traveling, even if her marriage is authentic, which all of us we know, it's not a fake marriage. It's not uh, uh, a pepper marriage. It's not uh, a RNG marriage. There's what we call a RNG marriage. It happens a lot in Yankee. Hey! <laughs> Blue passport is not our bed. You guys should leave it. Actually, people use this one for business. You understand? Give and take kind of stuff. You give it to me, I give it to you. Woto, woto. You drop some mullahs for me, I give you stay. You understand what I did? Hey. But if immigration catch you, you are finished. The following are the requirements to obtain resident permit for an individual who is married to a Ghanaian. Number one, application letter. Requesting for the grant of resident permit from the Ghanaian spouse. Number two, two recent passport pictures. Recent means taking no more than six months. Number three, copy of your non-citizen ID card. Four, original passport of application. Five, two guarantors with copies of their Ghanaian passport. All parties will sign a bond at the immigration office. A letter of guarantee from one of the two guarantors. Number eight, non-citizen ID card. Three, marriage certificate. Number ten, bank statement of Ghanaian spouse. Uh, hey, if you can take care of this, your woman, your foreign woman, don't come and add more salt to the injury that the government is suffering already. Don't come and bring your own baggage to the government and be crying, oh, I can't take care of my wife. I can't take care of my spouse. So they need all this, including your bank statement. They want to know if you have somebody to look after your foreign woman or not. <laughs> so I didn't see anywhere they mentioned here you have to wait three years. So if you know how to do <laughs> at the time, I didn't see anywhere they mentioned that you must travel with your marriage certificate alone. You understand? She has been doing it. It means she has been doing it wrong way. She's supposed to. She didn't even apply. I don't think Maya even applied for this. All these things that we are mentioning. So I didn't see where they mentioned you must wait for three years. So it means for that three years you are illegal. Three years in Ghana illegal. Ah. You guys should make this thing make sense to me because I doubt it. I freaking doubt it. I am not going to believe this one. Yes, she has been traveling from her home country, which is still the same continent. I mind you that once you have established that rapport, you know, that relationship with the country, the country already know you that you are in and out of their country. You're not coming to come down and be becoming nuisance or be roaming around. You understand? Adding more problem to the economy. Something like that. They have established that, okay, you are in and out. You can buy your ticket. You can come in, enjoy yourself. You know, respect yourself, respect the country. You wouldn't have problem coming back always. It's like that. Even in Yankee, if they give you 10 years, once you exhaust that 10 years, they will freaking give you another 10 years. But if they give you 10 years and within that 10 years, you've not even visited, uh, applying for another one will become a problem. You understand? Something like that. So that is it. What are you guys not telling me? Maya supposed to, uh, Maya ought to know better as our travel icon and as African son of the soil here. You know who we're talking about. We, to whom much is given, much is expected. We expected him to know better. Now, can we pack one side for those people trying to attack me that uh, Mrs. Maya has been traveling. Oh, she has, 
she used to have her return ticket from Ghana or either Kenya to Yankee, from Yankee back. She used to have that arrangement like that. You understand? Not from Caribbean to Miami. From Miami, you want to jump to Ghana. You are not even a citizen of that country. If she was wise enough, she's supposed to travel back to Kenya to avoid this kind of uh, thing. I wonder why they did not apply yet. Then when we start talking like this, people will start thinking that we have serious problem with them. When we start questioning and looking deep like this, people will read meaning into it. People will start saying all that and start reminding us that we are evil. Huh? You guys should stop it. I don't have a problem with your fan. She's also my fan. She's, yes, she's my person, if you don't know. In the past, only now, the Mara people, they are getting it a little bit. <laughs> Not fully. Now they are getting it that we are here to give it to whoever. Even me, I'm receiving it on the street. You know how Coco Mama is being dragged here on daily? Yeah? With lies. I see, I swallow, I walk up. We're in social madness. Guys, who else do we have here? Ah, Jinju came and was crying, emergency in the villa. Eh? Just a small rain that just started. We are not yet in that season where, because Africa is similar, our weather is a little bit connected to each other. It's rainy season, even where I come from right now. But uh, during that July, August, come and see rain. Every day almost uh, is dropping wood, 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 up to October. So it hasn't yet started raining that much. And the walls are falling. Eh? The walls of Jericho. The walls of calamity. When Baba Mara was stolen this land from all these guys, all these villagers, helpless villagers that got no choice, grabbing all, he, he made sure that he cleared everybody that was around him, how he did it, whether he was paying them fee not, paying them every other month or every six months, we don't know the payment plan. Only him and these guys. But of course, we know that he took this land almost with nothing. It's clear. He did all that. What did he do? He put a fence across this same river. And we reactors, we came here, we were crying. We said, hey, Natural resources like this, a gift from God to his people. You want to confiscate it. You want to make it your own private thing. Come and see him. Come and see his dream. Hey, oh, when people come to the river, when people come to the villa, they will come to this river and be relaxing. Come to this river, the sound of the river. Made it his own private property. Harvesting, harvesting, harvesting sand. The whole sand that he used to put his tiles was collected. Oh, the way these guys suffered. Hmm? The likes of Mawera and the rest, the way they suffered for YouTubing, hmm? for visibility to make it. For visibility, they were working for this guy tirelessly. No proper meal, nothing. Not, yani nothing. Not, not, not even the views. Like, yani nothing. Yani basically, as we speak, a lot of them are still struggling, like me and you that are YouTubers here. What do you think? They did all that harvesting and harvesting and harvesting. After harvesting, come and see calamity. Now his mom is praying. Congress mom, we're gonna see. The clip. Congress mom is praying. I don't understand why she's becoming emotional. What you sow is what you will do what you will reap. You cannot sow corn and you want to come and harvest cassava. Uh, you sow potato. You want to come and harvest rice. It's not possible. What you sow is what you reap. And I'm, I'm not, I don't feel sorry for Mr. Kenge this time around because you look at it. He's not even supposed to put that fence. Allow the natural river to flow. Let people come enjoy the river, natural resources from above. Why putting the fence around that river, close to the river? Now, erosion came like this and left a big hole. 
We're gonna see. It's, there's no point even. Uh, in fact, let's start looking at these things. Because Coco Mama, your own is too much. Your own is too much. Coco Mama, stop it on a more serious note. Let's watch Jinto. Hey guys, we have a tragedy today. We're gonna have occurred here because over the river YouTube was flooded with water and I am our site here. And we have a miscellaneous effect, which is a, uh, the perimeter wall has fallen down a little bit here. And uh, we have to do something of rectifying unto this position. Eh, we want to fall down, guys. Eh, eh, things gonna be not okay here. So the land had slided a little bit to the river. So that's why you can even see we have a beam that was uh, collided to uh, the river YouTube there. Even, guys, it's a tragedy. So here, I don't know why these things gonna happen in such kind of a way, but uh, we're gonna fix it today or uh, we're gonna fence a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be placing there a uh, fence so as uh, it will restrict this place uh, not to go far. Because uh, even the fence that we put at that position that you can never even see, it has uh, a little bit uh, uh, helped here so as uh, this stuff cannot go in a, a, a way that uh, people can protrude onto the compound. So we want to restrict that one because uh, it's a trespassing area. So we have to do something correspondent here. So it's a tragedy, guys. Gonna be, oh my God. So what can we do here now? We have to do our best so as we can res uh, uh, rescue this place uh, before it can move to the other section because uh, this is a swampy area. So we whenever we leave it this way, it's gonna expand a little bit from this position. So guys, keep it in tune. We're gonna be showing you how things are going to be fixed here and I am Marwa Villamenjin. I saw another person attacking Jintu. Oh, now that Marwa is not around, you know, some of his stuff, his villa supposed to be private. Some of the stuff going on in his villa is not supposed to be for public. Like, seriously, do you know who is Marwa? Do you know where he is? He's a social media person. He lives, he makes earnings. He makes a living from social media. You guys should be receiving sense. Eh? They should be hiding these things. You can't hide it. The guys working for him can hide it, but the whole villagers are there to finally let us know what is going on. He's a social media person. You can't hide stuff like this. Why is Congress mom so emotional, guys? Is she asking for forgiveness from Jamto? Is she asking for forgiveness for the land that her son confiscated from the villagers and gave them almost nothing? Why? Why asking for forgiveness? Why is she miserable? Why is she restless? Why does she feel like this thing that is happening like this is actually happening because of karma? What her children have done? Why is she feeling that everything that is happening now happened for a reason? Of course, there's always a reason for the season. When Baba Mara was doing a whole lot of sun harvesting, doing all his shenanigans, what was he thinking? By the let him put up that fence again. Let him put it back. And the worst will even happen. Even that swamp villa. Guys, I can understand. We are not here to laugh at people at their down moment. You, you get me? But about this kind of a person, how does he treat others? How does he see others? Why does he think that he's Messiah? What, what makes him think like he owns the whole village? And with all this nonsense he's doing. Why? Is a question. Let's watch Congress mom becoming so emotional. There are many challenges for God. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you. We adore you. Our Father in heaven created us in your own image. You loved human beings. And uh, here we are asking for forgiveness, oh God. All the time, remember this family. Remember their travels. I'm going to show you a place that uh, has just swept away. Come here and they show these people they have to do the repair. Wow. So here we have the beehives. Beehives. The beehive is there, is one. And the bees are there. Wow. So here we have. What I've come to show you, you can see now how the fence has, the water has swept, the, the ground is weak and uh, it collapsed. 
see that area how it has collapsed it's a big area definitely god does jam tour is not resting <laughs> at all <laughs> guys can we move to london <laughs> hey shona shona stop it why was she so emotional why crying your baby needs you okay your baby needs some attention i mean it might even be the big baby because you know uh nigerian men i don't want to lie to you nigerian men can be funny hey they can be they can be straight like bola hey they come like this like bulldozer get away get away i need you like asap tell me who flew business class within seven days a content creator you didn't go there for sightseeing you didn't go for vacationing you uh, you are a full-time content creator you even made it clear that you didn't have money the money that you expected obviously obviously even your man for sure didn't want you to go on this journey you probably forced yourself eh? i don't i'm not supposed to go to that side but i'm just saying because mm, i mean she's here mm, she's here so if you are here if there's anything we see we will shook our mouth let me just say that okay her husband needs her attention. Her husband is not happy with the way. Which I know for sure, it got nothing to do with her man. For the fact that, okay, she decided, she convinced her man, oh, babe, I need to go. Oh, babe, try to understand. This is what I love to do. You have to support me. You know, you know, you know the thing go. You know, <laughs> when you met me, you know already that I'm a social animal. So you have to let me do what I love to do. You know, all those kind of things. Okay, she has managed to sort out that one with her man. Okay, there's no way you will tell me that Sean was crying with all this emotional, emotional letter to Jamaica. Eh? Hey, it got to a point I said, hey, baby girl, stop it. Baby girl, you can do better. If you want to respect what happened between you and D, which we have seen already. They went to a nightclub. Dean disappeared. I think at that point, yeah, <laughs> after whatever that happened, heated argument, back and forth, was was okay. Baby girl decided there was solar eclipse happening. Why D was taking Shona to the airport? D was also talking about this solar eclipse. Tell me who does that? Spend all your money to come to a country you did not even spend up to. One week, you are gone. Yani, at the same time, you want to say a whole lot about this country, how you miss this country, or how you can't wait to come back. You had to leave. Who forced you to leave? Leave your baby out of this. Who forced you to leave? What made you to leave? What made you to decide? You said it that you were going to spend one month in Jamaica. Guys, Shona was meant to spend one month which is expected which is reasonable you understand the energy when she was coming there's no way you would tell me that she planned to spend one week there now what made her to leave what she's telling us she is simply lying and blabbing she's not telling us the truth let's listen to her words guys dear what is this as I sit down to write this letter, from me to you, my heart is so heavy with the weight and the tears that comes with saying goodbye. It feels like I'm bidding the last farewell to somebody that I love the most. Somebody who is more dear to me than a friend, a best friend and a mother. Somebody who welcomed me with open arms and showed me nothing but love, hospitality, and warmth. From the moment I set my foot in the soils of Jamaica, I was captivated by the beauty, the greenery, the scenery, and the clear crystal water, the vibrant culture, the loving people, the amazing food, and every corner I turned and looked at, there was a child ready to smile. It was truly a charm over and over again. But it was not just about the physical beauty for me. It was also the people, the people of Jamaica, so loving, the souls 
truly stole my heart from the friendly smiles of strangers, people who are willing to say hi in the streets, something I barely experienced. Dear Jamaica, my heart bleeds any time I think of finally leaving. But as they say, everything that has a beginning must have an end. God, 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 God. Me, that's why I like myself. If I must talk, I will talk. If I don't want to talk, I'd rather... But to come and be pretending, like the way she's pretending, we can tell that she's just pretending. She's disappointed to her bones. But she wants to act up. She wants to make everything smooth, everything. She is disappointed. In fact, it's a big lost on her. Kino was giving this girl attention. D didn't like it. Let's watch D talking about solar eclipse. Tell me who does that. You have been experiencing the sun eclipse or something. Yeah. Have you experienced it, Kino? And today? Uh. No, we never get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> never oh, they didn't give us oh, not in Jamaica. Oh. Guys, if you experience, let us know. So now we're headed to the airport. Imagine your girl, your best friend came and on a special occasion like this, okay? When something remarkable like this is happening, that's the time you are taking her to the airport to leave because of emergency that she has to be with her baby. This is a crap. This is BS to me. Nobody can tell me anything. She's pretending. That's why she cannot believe it. That's why she has to do this video to confuse who she wants to confuse. Because me, uh, uh, you can't convince me. Roro, Roro, stop it. Roro, Roro did a live stream yesterday <laughs> trying to justify and explain why she was transferring her back from the left arm to the right arm. Stop it, Roro, Roro. We are not babies. You don't need to say all that nonsense. Some actually believe that. Baba Mara planned this without her knowledge so that they can go back to the village so that he will not take her around the city. Mm -mm. Me, I believe that she was aware of this. The moment she said, no, I don't have my passport with me. <laughs> At the moment, I know for sure that mm -mm, she's aware of it. She's a crook. She's more deadly than even Mr. Kenge. <laughs> she's more desperate than Mr. Kenge. She knows what she's doing. You can't tell me anything. They are out, and we are also out. In fact, we are out. They are out. We are out tests to catch them here. Period. Make your money the right way. Don't take advantage of the donations. No, it's not allowed. You cannot do that. So the other bloggers are happy. What happened? Are happy for what happened to you? They can enjoy life. They can enjoy until it happens to them, you know. Let them enjoy that that energy comes back around, comes back around all the time. He might have sold the jacket <laughs> or maybe just gifted it to someone. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um. What is the problem? How is your arm? Are you okay? Yes, yes, I didn't get hurt at all. Because I'm telling you, the, the, the back, he broke it. You, you can go watch the video. He broke it easily. So it was so easy to remove. I didn't even have time like to force or anything. So, so no, nothing happens to me. Nothing really happens to me. So, yeah. D and Kino will be traveling very soon. We are suspecting that hey, they might be traveling together to Trinidad and Tobago. Trini Bades, Trini things. We can't wait. We have already seen it already. Them asking what for them to ask the audience, tell us where you guys want to see us go. Oh, would you want to see uh, which country? We already know. Hey, the energy when... Sean, the energy that D got when Sean was around, you know, when Sean was in their company, is not the same energy when she left. You understand? It's clear. This, this kind of a person, you relate with her from far. 
You meet with her, you know, one hour, two hours. You sit down, either have lunch or do collaboration, do what you go your way and let her go her way. She's that kind of a person. Go and ask African tigress firsthand. Before you try something like this, go and ask her. Because number one, she will make you feel like she's the one helping you. Finally, she's giving Esther shout out. Someone said that she cannot even control Esther. That Esther is that kind of a person that will passively pass her aggression. You know, she will quietly give it to you. You want to come and make her look like she's nothing. She knows how to handle you. You know, she knows how to talk without even opening her mouth. She's that kind of a girl. I agree with this person that said this. Because there was something that D told Esther to do. D told they were having this lunch, of course, sponsored by D. This is what she loves to do. That's why she will never show the payment part. Now, listen again. Now that we are talking about it this way. Another thing is she will give money in the background to Kino to pay. <laughs> but we can tell Kino will also, in one way or the other, expose that one. Now, why they were eating, okay? Here, D, can you dip your waffle the way you did it last time? Esther did not do it, but she didn't say she would not do it. You know, that kind of a person. Other information that I want to share here is this. Ghana in Africa is one of the easiest countries that will give you residency permit. Janto visited Ghana with Madam D, okay? As we speak, he has a permanent residence in Ghana. How did he do it? He came there, he saw that it was easy, took advantage. Because they make this easy for Africans in diaspora to come down to Ghana and settle if they wish to. So this is another question. This is another thing that is opening our eyes. Why hasn't Madame Trudy gotten her permanent residency? Why hasn't Mrs. Maya gotten her permanent residency? Why hasn't Wedemaya applied for his wife. Why have they not done this? Since it's easy for even those that are not married to Ghanaians. Like, you can imagine, guys. So, guys, before we call it a day, there's another comment I want us to address here. Kino said a couple invited him and D to stay at the property and he can bring four members from his team with him. When did he say that he owns the property? Now, I have a clip here. I shared it yesterday, but I want to talk about it here. We can't just say stuff here without making sure. We are bound to make mistakes because we are human, but we can't just say stuff. Oh, that Kino said he bought. He said he spent $20 million. Of course, Jamaican dollars to buy this two bedroom apartment in December. He said that this is where he stays. Why? Because he's learning this stuff from D. How to be braggadocious, how to brag about things, how to lie about things, how to claim stuff. You understand? Bad company, this is what you get when you mingle a lot with somebody who is not straightforward. This is what you get when you mingle a lot with somebody who is crooked. You understand? You wouldn't know when you start behaving like that person. Tell me your friend and I will tell you who you are. Sean asked him, whether he spent 20,000, he said yes. I have a clip here. Let's watch. So finally, you know, I'm showing you guys where I live. So feel free to come and book it. You know, remember it's gonna be there. The link is gonna be in the description. You can come and book it out. Don't look it out, but you book can book it out. out. You can look, but you need to book. Mm, beautiful houses, But it's guys. nice though. Sean, you, you need to get one of these here for yeah. yourself. In Jamaica, mm -hmm. trust me, probably one of them cars, probably about 20 million. Yeah, wow. two, 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 two bedroom, one bedroom. Some two, some three, you know. Mm -hmm. But roughly, for a two bedroom, is probably about 20 million. Not bad. That's yeah. how much you bought it for? Yeah. yeah. Big man. Big. So, yes, our two bedroom. Have you seen it? Have I answered your question, this person? Saying that he never claimed that he bought this property. He claimed that he bought it. Whether he meant it, whether he was joking, we don't know. He claimed he spent 20 million Jamaican dollars to buy a property in this gated place, this gated community, this estate. What are you guys? It's good to dream big. It's, too, it's good to do stuff. But don't come and lie. Tomorrow, a subscriber gave us this place to stay. Today, 
you are saying something different tomorrow another thing what is this you guys should leave me alone on a more serious note i don't wanna i don't wanna if you watch till this moment you know who you are you're the best thank you all for coming in today to support coco mama like you always do your likes your comments in fact like this video sharp 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 i appreciate you all i appreciate all you do for coco mama your slaps hey you guys are all amazing none of your support over here is taken for granted like i can't even appreciate you guys enough mm, sometimes i'm speechless sometimes i don't know what to say because come to think about it without you guys here <laughs> there won't be coco mama simple there's no point you know hiding this one It's because of you that made me who i am here today is because of your support is because of your effort is because of all you do uh, even those in the background you know yourselves is because of all that that um, you know gives me energy to come here with the water come here back to back <coughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't bring someone to the table tell a friend bring, introduce someone to this amazing channel well we can't do this alone you understand what i mean mm -hmm. I'll see you all in my another water with a piece of pizza pizza. Bye bye. Bye guys. Slow and put it on me. No you like that she my brother. We gon' live forever. Money island, to the mainland, pulling up, bring up your mom.